So now in last video, we tried, we learned that how to select value in API with DB connection. So now we'll try to see how through API we can pass that value to our DB. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and first try to know in the same API code, I wanted to update it. So now I will try to do that. So first thing, what we need to do? app dot this time we need use express dot json okay so why we need that because this time whenever we're going to use that we need to pass that value so how are we going to do that we try to learn it and i will create app dot this time we need to insert so i will put that app dot post Okay, and I will put it here only. Set insert code. Okay, here I will put that one comment of get COD record and here API test. I will put that API test. Okay. Okay. So app dot post and then we'll put this one and then we'll put insert. Okay. So I did that insert now. Come outside this one and then again async we need to create and then required response and next I don't need but I will put it and I will remove it now. Okay response done and then as usual we'll make that arrow function okay so now first thing what we will try to do i will show you how we can here i will put one console dot log okay and request dot body okay so this one we'll try to see what it's going to give to us okay so now already i am running it from node moon so it's already running we can see it here i went and i came and opened that here so right now if we hit it will be only one now i'm going to use that post and then i have to use that insert okay to insert and then we need to come to body here we need to pass that name. Suppose I will pass as AMIT and then we need address. Address I will pass it Rachi. Okay, and then we have class. Class I will pass it again 12. Okay, and then if I put that send so whenever I will send it, so you can see what it's going to be happen. You can see we got that here, whatever that API we sending, that's why you use this one to convert it and it's passing us name, address and class, okay? So now we got it, how it will be so. So now we know that what we need to insert, okay? So now let me connect with data, this let data equals to evet db connect okay done and then let result equals to evet uh, result this time we're not going to return anything we're going to insert so no need of this one data dot and now we know that how to do that insert one record we wanted so we put that insert one and we know what we need to pass it here request dot body then it will be insert for us and then i will put that a response resp i think resp or whatever i have given let me see dot send equals to result okay so res was there so res i will put okay 
so response dot result now i will put that again say bit so it's started running if you go and see it here only one record is there now i go to postman and this time i will put that send okay we can see now it's came success because i have not uh, done that what to display it here so now if i come back here and if we refresh it we can see 12 got inserted and if you go and see it here okay now we are not displaying so it's not displaying but it's got inserted it here successfully okay so in this way we can do that insert operation through api i hope you like this video